Hi everyone, this is Crafty Decoria. I hope everyone is doing great. I decided to share a Dollar Tree haul today. It's not the regular Dollar Tree Monday haul. I didn't end up going on the weekend, but I did make a special trip because I had seen so many people hauling the cotton picks at the Dollar Tree. And to be honest, I didn't think that they would arrive here in Canada because so many of the great items that I see hauled are in the US and as excited I am for all of you um, it's kind of a bummer when they don't show up here in Canada but this time around we were fortunate enough to have them arrive in Canada at least at my Dollar Trees and I grabbed about 20 of them because I absolutely love the cotton picks especially in the fall but really anytime if you love farmhouse and so I did end up finding them and I was so so excited this is not a very big Dollar Tree haul but some of you had been asking where I have been and I did mention in some other Dollar Tree hauls that I've just been really busy trying to complete some projects and really try to get my house organized and put together we pretty much about 90% have finished our one room renovation but now we are tackling our old kitchen and turning that into a dining room so things are getting there we are seeing a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel but there's still a bit of work to do and I'm the type of person that I just really need to get things organized before I can really um, have my mind clear and really come up with some interesting DIYs at least I hope you think that mine have been if you've seen mine on my channel um, but uh, I am looking forward to you know getting things put together and then making some more DIYs and they're actually things that I want to make for my home for myself so uh, when I get around to doing that and I'm hoping that very soon I will be doing that then I definitely will share with all of you but uh, one of the things that I've also been working on is this kitchen set that you see here um, this we were very fortunate to get this set for free and it was in excellent condition when we did um, receive it but I just didn't like the fabric that was on the chairs and to reupholster each chair would have been over a hundred dollars a chair um, I didn't look into it but I know that I have in the past and a very simple chair which this one here wouldn't have been too too hard to do but it still would have been at least a hundred dollars for sure so to do eight chairs would have been at least 800 plus tax and I just didn't want to really spend that much when we did get the set for free so I decided that I wanted to just recover the bottoms of the chairs so the seats and all I did was I picked up some vinyl and recovered these and this was pretty simple to do it wasn't too difficult and then with the backs the back was a little bit more difficult um, because as you can see it was you know stapled along here the bottom as well it is front and back and that was going to be a little bit more work to um, cover that so what I decided to do was if you did see um, I had uploaded a video it was the Goodwill Challenge the $5 Goodwill Challenge hosted by Hillary from Old World Home I had actually uh, painted that stool that I showed in there and so I decided to do the same with the chairs and I did the exact same thing using the chalk paint from Rust-Oleum and it was in linen white and the only thing different I did was instead of using the decoupage glue sealer I used a wax and I'm gonna go ahead I don't have the wax with me because I did finish it 
but I will insert a picture of the particular wax that I used. It was the first time that I used it, and I absolutely love this wax. It gives such a nice finish, and I just, it was easy to work with, and I absolutely loved it. So I will also insert a picture of what this set looked like before I painted and recovered the bottoms, the seats. And this is what it looks like now and I absolutely love how they turned out. And really, I probably spent um, about, well, I spent about $50 for the vinyl, and then the wax cost me about $32. So for under $100, I was able to make over this set, and I absolutely love how it turned out, because I, I love these chairs, and um, I'm so, so happy with how it turned out. So I thought I'd just share that with you because it is something that I have been working on um, amongst many other projects. And so I have completed it and I, again, am thrilled with it. But moving on to this Dollar Tree haul, um, as usual, here is the overview. I'm going to go through everything one by one so you can have a better look. I hope you enjoy. All right, so the first thing, as I showed you at the beginning, are the cotton stems from the Dollar Tree. I did pick up about 20 of them, and what I found is that you get about two cotton stems on each pick. You get about two to three pine cones, as well as two of these longer, fuzzy, I can't think of the name of what they are called but um, you either get those or these here or the wheat. So about two to three of those because I did find that when I was taking them out from their um, containers, the cottons were, some of them were falling off pretty easy. So just be careful when you are reaching for them that you don't lose your cotton. But um, I absolutely love these and again, I'm so happy that they arrived to my Dollar Tree. Next, I picked up some of the 2019 calendars and I really, really like the ones that they have this year. There was about three other ones that I didn't pick up. I should have took a picture of what they were because I can't remember them offhand. But the five that I did pick up were the Hot Wheels calendar, then I picked up the emoji or emoji calendar. really cute. I picked up a Care Bears a strawberry shortcake and I just thought this one was adorable because it's the strawberry shortcake that I grew up with I mean, even just for the pictures, if your child loves the characters, to frame these, I think would be absolutely adorable. And then the last one I picked up, which was my favorite, is the Peanuts Gang. So I was very, very happy to come across these calendars. So these gift bags I had seen hauled a while back. Probably, um, I thought I seen them hauled in the spring. Um, not many, but there were a few that hauled them. And I just could never find them at my Dollar Tree. Well, this time around, I did see them and I did pick them up. 
and I loved each and every one of them. So the first one, which was my favorite, are the lemons. Now you do get two bags, uh, two gift bags, and the sizes are 8 inches by 10.5 inches. So you get this lemon one, and you also get this plaid, yellow and green and white. And then I picked up the watermelon one. And then this print underneath. And then the last one I picked up were the cherries. And then this gingham red and white check underneath. These are adorable, adorable bags and really, really nice quality. Over in the crafting section, I did pick up some of these black artist canvas. You get four in a pack and the sizes of these are three inches by three inches. And I'm so happy that they are coming out with the black because I just think it's nice to have the option of the white or the black. So it says it's 100% natural cotton canvas and it's excellent for oil and acrylic paints. So I picked up a few packages of those. Then I came across this Artist Palette. This is the first time I seen this one here. They also had the, I think it was Jot that carried it, but I'm not 100% sure. And it had either six or eight round holes in there to put your paint. But this one I thought was really nice. It has, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten uh, wells so that you can place your paint. And then this larger one here in the center. So I thought that was really nice, and it is by Multicraft. And then I picked up a couple packages of the burlap circles and these are by a Bride's Wish wedding collection. And you do get two pieces in each package. I was really happy to find the fruit scented lip balms again at the Dollar Tree. So I picked up one in strawberry, one in apple and one in lemon. I came across some more fun pens at the Dollar Tree. So the first ones here that I picked up were the Globe pens and they did come in three colors. So I picked up one in purple, one in green and one in blue. At least these were the colors that I saw them in at my DT. And then I picked up these really nice feather, printed feather pens and it is a stylo and um, this one here is a really nice blue and it has a butterfly print all over the feather and the pen part is in silver just really pretty and then the second one that I picked up is this nice pink uh, color and it has cactuses and a little teepee there just really really pretty really simple but pretty Over in the school section or the school supply section, I picked up some really neat clipboards and these are by Jot and these were the three prints that I saw. So the first one here says wild and free. The second one has this really pretty rose print on it with the plaid in the back and it's in this really nice blue, pink and peach white and black pattern and then the third one I picked up is a camel and this one I loved so I these were really cute clipboards and the size of these are 7.5 inches by 10.625 inches I then picked up this dry erase magnetic planner. 
so it just has the days of the week and then numbers one to six down the side and I liked that it was magnetic and that I can just use it and then erase it and then reuse it again. And then just beside that were these magnetic dry erase markers. So you get three, a red, a blue, and a black. And these are by Pro Marks. And the dry erase magnetic planner is by Jot. And then I ended up picking up a Bible word hunt. I had found volumes one and two um, a few hauls ago, but at this Dollar Tree I did find volume three and I love picking these up when I find them because they do go quick and I just like doing these every morning and then I also use it as a daily devotional. Um, on the inside you have your crossword puzzle and then underneath you have the verse um, so this one here is Mark 4, 26, 35. So you have that here on the bottom. And then I just um, every day write this out in my journal. And I just love doing it. And I think this is a neat and fun way to do that. And down to my last items for this Dollar Tree haul. I picked up this phone stand. Now the Dollar Tree was carrying some really fun phone stands that I did pick up and hauled in some a few hauls back. Some had tacos, uh, donuts on them with just really cute sayings. But for those of you who don't like all the color and sayings, these ones here are really nice. This was the only pattern that I saw but it is in silver and then clear and these work really nice. I really did enjoy the other ones that I picked up, but I do like this one because it is a little bit more plain. So I picked up one of those. Then over by the Main Street Wall Creation stickers, I ended up finding these peel and stick um, mirrored designs. They're just in a smaller package. Um, there really isn't a size because there are these particular ones here, they're butterflies, but I thought they were really nice. Um, whether you stick these on a wall or if you stick them on a picture frame, like if you take the backing out of the frame and then just stick these on the glass, I think it would look really neat. Um, There's so many ways that you could use them. But the first one that I picked up here are the butterflies and in this package you do get five. I then picked up these feathers and there is four in here. Then I picked up the arrows, which I love. Speaking of love, I picked up this one here and I actually picked up a couple of these and it says love and then it has three hearts on the top and then the last one that I picked up says dream so I thought those were really nice and then the last thing I have to show you are these memo cubes, which I think are so beautiful. They are the Ann Gettys um, pictures here. This is the picture that you will find on this particular memo pad. So it is 800 sheets included in this with the distribution box. The size of these are 3.8 inches by 3.7 inches by 3.4 inches. So these would make really nice um, teacher's gifts or if you're making up a little gift bag to include this inside would be really cute. So I picked up this one here and then the only other one that I saw was this one here which I thought was so adorable. So that'll do it for this Dollar Tree haul. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Just some new items that I came across. And again, the whole purpose of going was to find those cotton picks and the mission was successful. So 
I hope you enjoyed this haul. I hope you are all doing great and I hope to be back very soon making some more DIYs and um, sharing with all of you. If you enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul, please give the video a like. Take care of yourselves um, and I hope to catch it in my next video. Bye guys.